How's it going? Jamie Donaldson here with Bill Lockwood from the Fiesta Movement. That's the Team O'Neill Rally School down there. Bill and I got to bring a Fiesta here all week to learn how to really control our cars. Here they teach you about braking, skidding, steering and gravel, and just basic car control, weight management, and all the aspects of controlling your car off-road. You thought you knew how to drive before, you don't know anything until you spent a week here. The human body's natural response to uh, panics is when the back end of the car slides out, they let off the gas. Uh, so if you're sliding sideways going down the road and you're pointing towards some trees or rocks or another car, your natural instinct is to look at what you don't want to hit, let off the gas, hit the brakes, shut your eyes, scream. There's many different things that people do. And we teach them to look where they want to go. Sometimes they let off the brakes, steer in that direction, and accelerate. It's uh, 574 acres of land with about six miles of roads. All of these roads and turns were types of turns and corners that used to get me in trouble. A lot of people come with really bad habits, and they've either gone into accidents or uh, they're not successful at all in the racing world. Uh, and they come to us to learn what to do when a car slides or how to get a car to slide. Point A to point B as fast as you can. The skid pad is, is really what we use for the basics of training people how to make a car turn. So as you go around the skid pad at speeds of 30 to 60 miles an hour, the vehicle will start to understeer and we teach people how to use the brake to help it turn. We take people out of their comfort zone. We put them in a front wheel drive car on gravel. Yeah. We make them brake in the turn with their left foot. We take you out in the car, demo it, but basically you're keeping the gas on, you're adding in some brake to get weight forward, curing understeer. These guys and girls are driving cars flat out and they're using the tools that we've presented to them and hopefully it's working. Then we go uh, into different types of vehicles, front wheel drive, all wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Then we go different types of corners. Uh, so we have different types of braking, different ways of braking, different types of corners, say decreasing radius, increasing radius, uphills, downhills, crests, turns, hairpins, junctions, and we break each thing down and then we start slowly putting them all together. So as you get good at one skill, we then teach you another skill and you take those two skills and learn the third skill and it keeps going until you have anywhere from five to ten ways of braking in different type of surfaces in different types of conditions and we just build it up and it's a crawl, walk, run thing. A weight transfer, basically weight forward is going to cure understeer, maybe cause some oversteer. Weight in the rear is going to stop oversteer. It's going to get weight in the rear, get those rear tires to grip in and actually straighten the car. So to make the car turn, you add some weight up front, the car will turn to stop the rotation, get weight back in the rear with the throttle or unwinding the wheel. Trying to get people to look in the right places. Um, especially we see if someone's driving quickly and they start going around the corner and the car starts sliding, it's target fixation. All of a sudden, the only thing they're going to see is a huge ditch or a guardrail or trees coming up or whatever it might be. It's like a deer jumps out in front of the car. Um, the hardest thing to get people away from is looking at really bad things. When the vehicle starts to slide out of control, you tend to look at things you don't want to hit. So we teach you to look where you want to go. And then we also teach you how to use your left foot to make it turn. So if you look left, the brake helps you go left. But we like to push people. You know, we don't want to just drive around the roads and never get into a situation because this is a great environment to get into situations where you're not so comfortable. You know, the brake, the gas, the steering wheel, all those controls affect weight in the vehicle in a different way and using a small portion of each can produce pretty good results with the vehicle. A lot of results that most folks aren't used to seeing. Just breaking that, um, that barrier that, that folks get comfortable with driving on the street. You know, you're just cruising around, you don't really understand car control as, as much as we try to make you. And we try to involve you know, every piece of your body and, and every part of the car and really make you feel what the car is doing and how you can affect that um, at any time. You know, you're always in control doing what we do here. What's a lifter? A lifter. It's you. Um, it's, it's most people. It's most people on day one 
that have driven primarily with their right foot. And we're trying to involve the left foot over the brake and a lot of folks like to lift off the gas as they brake. And what does that mean? At slow speeds, it means that the car is probably not gonna rotate or slide out or oversteer, it might just push. And at high speeds, it means that you're going in backwards. It means that if you lift, you're gonna move a lot of weight very quickly. You know, it's a form of weight control. That car's gonna do spin outs in 180s and 360s and typically a lift at high speeds is also high impact. Hit your mark here because if you don't out there, it's those big old rocks everywhere. Uh, so adjust your line a little bit. Look up. We're lifting, turning, braking. We get our turning gun back there. We have a longer run to accelerate. The Fiesta did awesome. Um, I drove it quite a bit. We put some rally tires on it, which is the biggest thing in rally. You know, you, that's what's touching the ground. Um, once we got some good tires on it, it went great. You know, the suspension was lacking, but the street car stuff, really impressive. It had perfect power, um, you know, you don't need a whole lot, it's slippery, if you can spin the tires, you've got, almost got too much power. Um, steering was real, real quick, the brakes felt great, it was a fun little car. It's when you realize, well, what could I have done differently, what could I have done better, and we here at the school tend to do that a lot. Okay, what did you have problems before? We break down past accidents, we learn from them, and we move on. And I think it's, it's a really good, safe environment to do that. Almost 100% of them say this is the most fun they've ever had with a car. And when you're having fun, you learn. 